The struggle to find new sources of energy has already culminated well into the 21st century. With the invention of powerful applications that now do on smartphones what once took supercomputers to do, there is increasing pressure on manufacturers to make their devices exponentially faster using components with smaller and smaller sizes. Yet another concern is the energy consumption. According to a report, watching just one hour of video per week on a mobile device on a remote network results in more energy consumption per year than two household refrigerators combined. Scientists from the SNM project are working hard to push the boundaries of nanotechnologies to make the next generation of electronic devices smaller, faster and much more energy efficient. The project consists of 16 partners spread over eight European nations with management responsibilities located in TU Ilmenau. Here, a team of scientists is working hard on techniques such as scanning probe lithography and cryo etching. This video shows exactly the main idea of the project how to use uh, scanning proof technologies to get very highly, very concentrated interactions at nanoscale and in that manner to write features, to write devices which are sub 10 nanometers. The diameter of a human hair is 50 micrometers. If you divide that by 50 and then again by a thousand, then you have a one nanometer. So it's really, really very small. IBM Research Zurich and startup company Swiss Litho are working on techniques to establish and improve their scanning probe lithography techniques based on heated tips. Similar than removing um, with a chisel stone from a big plate of stone, here you can use this device and use a very hot tip in order to chisel away material from a polymer film. Now you can do that with such a precision which is unprecedented and in that sense you can use it as a scientific tool in order to build uh, prototyping devices um, which you cannot build with any other um, tools so far. CSIC, our partner from Spain, is studying a resistless variation of SPL and direct self-assembly of block copolymers. The CMOS will run out of steam, it will come to an end and we have to be ready with the next technology step when that occurs. For such a novel project, a partner experienced in chemistry is needed to create resists, and that gap is filled by the University of Bayreuth. As we are chemists, we can, we can synthesize new materials, we can tailor synthesize them, tailoring for the speciality of the requirements of the SMM project, the high resolution which, which is aimed. A vital resource provider for the SNM project is IMEC, headquartered in Belgium. They have state-of-the-art clean room facilities for high-resolution pattern transfer. A key European manufacturer of plasma etching tools provides solutions for the SNM project. The sun is made of plasma, fluorescent lights are plasma. This is ionized gas, this is electric current passing through gas, and so it conducts electricity. From our point of view, it can also do chemistry, so I can have quite sensitive materials exposed to this and still have this high temperature uh, behavior going on without destroying it with heat. Our partners at the Open University and the University of Liverpool are studying a different etching technique using neutral particles instead of electrically charged ions and electrons. Particularly we're interested in doing it with neutral particles so that we don't get charging effects. There are sometimes effects that you can get when you're using charged particles to do the etching which means that the, the charge buildup on a surface deflects the arrival of subsequent charge and that can spoil the, the line resolution a little bit. So we're looking at ways of trying it with neutral particles. Well, in the, this project, we are, we are responsible for metrology, which means that, that um, we are leading the metrology work package where all the measurement techniques are developed to measure these very small structures, which are developed by all uh, the partners in the project. And uh, also, um, yeah, we, we do measurements uh, of these structures. So it's both development of new techniques uh, because yeah, obviously the structures are smaller than, than conventional structures. So that means that the, the challenges on the measurement field are also uh, are bigger. After the measurement of the fabricated devices, the electrical characterization is done at laboratories in Imperial College London, where the device layouts are created as well. We are, of course, extremely interested in the, in the application of semiconductor nanoelectronic devices. Uh, we have interest, of course, in the, in the physics as well but our primary interest is in trying to apply them. 
Another device technology based on 2D materials instead of conventional silicon is being considered in EPFL Switzerland. For the industrial use of the developed fabrication method, it is crucial to achieve high throughput. In the SNM project, this is done using nanoimprint lithography. For the high throughput, we need to have the nanoimprint lithography, and then comes the pattern transfer, and with that we can produce or in principle stamp a thousand of devices at the same time, so meaning a high throughput, and this is really relevant for bringing it to the market and really to sell it to the industry so that they can use our uh, process chain or our development. EVG's role in the SNM project is mainly focused on nanoimprint lithography. So we are doing product development and process development uh, for nanoimprint lithography. There are nice synergies uh, with project partners here providing master templates, providing infrastructure and solutions for metrology, um, which is complementary to what we are doing for enhancing our equipment performance for new product developments and also process development. This project is a very important project, it's looking at what happens beyond what is known as CMOS, complementary metal oxide silicon circuits. So it's, it's a key perhaps to the future of, of our consumer electronics, our communications and so on. We are processing uh, small areas, but uh, nevertheless, uh, this process takes time. In the final industrial system, this time is paid. It costs money. If we will be able to process, say, four times faster, then we will save the money and we will make the process cheaper. And this is one of the final goals of the project, to create a tool which will make all devices cheaper than they are now. The sort of technology we're developing in the single nanometer manufacturing project could give us a, a future technology which will allow Moore's law to continue. And in that respect would be, would be of, of immense um, interest and impact on society and um, on the, this information age that we live in. Building electronic devices and single electron, single electron level means we are reducing the consumption 100, maybe 1,000 times. And we are securing in that manner the future for the next generation.